Today I want to share with you three ways to overcome fear. I watched the video by Preston Smiles, amazing guy. I love your videos, man. I really, I really enjoy your videos. He shared five points. I want to share the three that really resonated with me um, and that have helped me on my journey. So first, he, he shared something that I really like, which was to share I think that's what he says. Share your, your fears with others, right? With people that care about you, that love you, that support you. Because it'll hold space for you and you'll be able to actually get that out. I think I used to try to pretend like I was superhuman and, and, and pretend like I didn't have any fears. But I think getting real honest and, and just getting honest with ourselves and with others and, and actually sharing our, 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 our human, <laughs> right? Our, I don't know what the word would be, but just we're more alike than we realize. We, may, we might share more fears than we realize. And I think sharing that with other people, in my life it's been beautiful to be able to share that with friends and family and just actually even give that fear a voice, right? We, we try to suppress it, we try to hide it, we try to push it away. But what if you actually give that fear a voice? I think that can be powerful. I think that can be powerful. Um, so I think it is important to share that and I think he had a really good point there. I, I, I like that. I, I like, in my life, it's been beautiful to be able to share that, especially when I was working with my coach and just sharing all that. There's such a power in sharing that with someone who you really trust. Um, I can't even describe it. it it's really, really uh, beneficial, I think. So, one of the things he shared was, which was very interesting and something that has helped me a lot too. Uh, he said to examine it carefully, right? Examine the fear. What if there's a possibility for another outcome, right? Sometimes we get so caught up in the idea that we create in our minds of what's going to happen, right? If I do this, that's going to happen. I know that's going to happen, right? And we get extremely, uh, I don't know what the word is. Um, <laughs> I need to expand my vocabulary. Um, but we get so caught up in the idea that this is what will happen. Like, I just know that's going to happen, right? Um, what's helped me on my journey is to actually maybe say it out loud. Like, start to have a conversation out loud. Even if it's by yourself, who gives a shit? Um, but just start to say that out loud and see how it sounds. Sometimes I think when we say it out loud, it might sound a little, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but it might sound a little ridiculous when we say it out loud. Like, oh, come on, like that's BS, like that's not gonna happen. So sometimes, but us, like, like I said, giving that fear a voice and actually talking about it, instead of thinking about it in your mind, which is, re my mind at least is really good at creating ideas and, and chaos in my mind of what's gonna happen and everything is negative and so I think saying it out loud makes it more real makes it actually more tangible of like is it really gonna happen or is that just my crazy <laughs> mind coming up with ideas so I think that might be helpful um, to actually yeah examine the fear a little deeper right don't be afraid to walk into that fear right um, I think that can be I think that can be helpful. I think that can be good to actually, when I've had sessions with clients, like just for them to actually talk about it, it's so healing, so, so healing. All right, number two, I wanna move on because he has really good points. Number two was to treat fear like an action call. And that to me is extremely powerful. I just made a video actually right before this one about the power of following your fear and in my life, I've seen so many benefits out of that. And I continue to see that because I try to, to do that. I, I don't do it all the time. I'm not trying to pretend like I'm superhuman, right? Um, I'm not trying to pretend like I'm Superman and, and I can take on anything, right? I have fears. I have fears and I, sometimes I don't follow them. I don't face my fears, right? Um, but I think if we try to think about it that way, like an action call, like he said, right? Like Preston shared in his video, which was... A really cool idea then we can use it like kind of like Marie Forleo said as a GPS right as a GPS on our journey like maybe the fear is actually trying to guide you towards where you're going right like that quote that I always use by Joseph Campbell the cave you fear to enter has the treasure you seek 
So what if that fear is actually calling you into that cave? What if that's what it's trying to do for your own well-being, for the growth of your soul, for your journey, for your path? That's where you're supposed to go next. You're growing to your highest version of yourself, right? Whatever you want to call it, the strongest version, the not not best version. I don't like that. That that's saying that you're not <laughs> that you're at a at a worse version right now. Uh, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, so I think I, I like that idea of seeing that fear maybe as an action call, as your GPS, as something that maybe there's a treasure waiting for you at the end right and then number three to breathe and no one likes to hear that tip right no one wants that suggestion because we don't have time to breathe right we don't have time to breathe we're so busy so stressed out i gotta go 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 who has time to stop and breathe and no one thinks it actually helps <laughs> at least that's my opinion like in the past i was like ah come on are you seriously telling me to breathe? Are you seriously telling me that to, if I just breathe, something's gonna change? And I can, I always say, I don't like to guarantee things, but I can almost guarantee that if you actually stop for 30 seconds or 60 seconds and breathe deep, you'll be at a much different place than you were before when you were very fearful, right? And he shared something about someone talking about fear is just excitement without the breath. And I like that. I like that. And I shared that on the other video. I think I shared it. Um, that I've heard before that fear can be actually excitement, but going through a filter, like a belief, uh, belief system, right? Can't even pronounce stuff today. <laughs> Fear can be excitement going through a filter, a belief system that is actually being interpreted as something negative. So what if that's true? And what if the only thing we need to actually kind of like take that fear and use it to our advantage and be able to actually look at it in the face maybe and actually bring it in closer, hold it, hug it, I accept it, appreciate it, and actually use it to your benefit to say, okay, maybe there's something behind that for me, right? There's something waiting for me. After I face that fear, what if all we need for that is just to breathe, to breathe deep, right? To slow down. I have a challenge with slowing down. I don't know if you noticed from my videos, but... <laughs> But it's beautiful when I, when I, I do notice when I need to slow down and I do my best, right? But with fears, it's been, it's been, it's been very, very, very helpful, right? When I, especially if I try, like I said in number one, to examine it, if you're in a, in a state where you're too excited, too caught up in the fear, too whatever, I don't think it's gonna go that well, right? I don't think you'll get the most out of it. But if you take 30 seconds, one minute, at least one minute, to actually slow down and breathe, right? Then I think your experience with fear will be way different, way better. So I hope those help. Um, Watch his video, he, he, he's amazing, amazing, amazing. So thank you Preston for that amazing video. Uh, watch his video, you'll get a ton of value out of it. Really, really great, great, great guy. So thank you, thank you for watching. I really hope that helps. I'll be making more videos on fear because it's something that I've struggled with so much. And I think it's a fascinating topic. So subscribe if you wanna get notified when those come out. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful day.